Good evening, everybody. Welcome to Board Game Smackdown. My name's James. I like games, and this is the show where comedians play board games live on the internet for your entertainment. I uh, hope you're doing well this lovely Wednesday evening, or indeed, whatever time it is you're watching this in the future. We've got a great game to play today on the show. We're playing King of Tokyo, uh, one of the uh, funnest uh, kind of... It's a sort of a family game, but it's not for kids, you know. They don't let them have all the good stuff. This is King of Tokyo. This is the game we're going to play. As you can see, it's got uh, monsters in it. Uh, and, of course, it's uh, set in Tokyo, so I've been doing some research. Uh, I've got some Tokyo facts for you to start the show. Here's some Tokyo facts. Tokyo's original name was Edo. Ah, that's true. Apparently, it's because it was named after an Australian man called Edward. That's true, apparently. Uh Hey Edo, Edo, we're gonna name the we're gonna name the city after you, mate. All right. Uh, Tokyo uh, has a population of uh, thirty-eight million people, and as such, has the second densest population in the world after Wolverhampton, uh, of course. Uh, Tokyo is the home of no theatre, uh, and when Rishi Sunak heard that, he was like, "Oh, brilliant! Have they all retrained?" Uh, so if you want to see some no theatre, go over to uh, Tokyo there. If you want to see no theatre, just go to the West End. There's, there's no theatre there. Uh, and, of course, we all remember the famous Japanese show tune, There's no theatre like no theatre. Three jokes about no theatre there, niche. Uh, and uh, get, uh, King of Tokyo is a game all about uh, kaiju, giant monsters, of course. First popularised in the 1954 movie uh, Godzilla. There are 32 movies in the original Godzilla franchise, including Godzilla vs. Megalon, Godzilla vs. Mechagodzilla, and the more thought-provoking Godzilla vs. Kramer, uh, where Meryl Streep files for divorce, uh, leaving Godzilla to raise Godzuki on his own. Uh, the scene where Godzilla makes French toast, not a dry eye in the house. Uh, in uh, Japan, Godzilla is known as Gohira. Uh, which means uh, go, that means uh, stage hand, and hira means in a rubber suit. So there you go, some interesting facts there about the game we're going to be playing today. Here's uh, where you can get more information about the game if you want to get yourself a copy of it, King of Tokyo. Uh, but we've got a fantastic panel lined up, one of the best panels we've ever had tonight. I'm going to introduce those to the stream right now, starting with... Good evening, uh, my name is Laura Lex. I am a comedian. Being in love is incredible. Being in love, it feels like central heating, you know? You, you, you turn it on before guests come over and pretend it's like this all the time. <laughs> and as an author, I am possibly married to a football manager. I'm a huge game player. My husband, actual husband, a real life one, not the football manager that I pretend to be married to. We play a lot of games. In fact, we actually have a house menu of games, uh, which is all of the board games that we have divided up like a food menu. And Tom actually bought one of those like burgundy menu, plastic wallet things, book things off the internet. And for the purposes of this evening, I won't look like this dishevelled, makeupless morning monster because I will be in the role of Mecha Dragon. Look out, Tokyo. Mecha Dragon herself, Laura Lex, is like, here. I've done dragony makeup. Look. Ooh, dragon. <laughs> Eyeliner, like a dragon would wear. <laughs> yeah. Uh, you mentioned the menu of games you have in your house. Yeah, uh, I should have brought it up, shouldn't I, to show you? Yeah. It's no, really I, weird, James. <laughs> I totally believe that it exists as a thing. Uh, what What is the heartiest meal on your menu of games? Um, probably through the ages. I think that's probably the, like, tankiest... I wouldn't suggest many people play that with us. No, that's a proper Heston Blumenthal taster menu that yeah. like, lasts all day, isn't it? Yeah, so, definitely. Yeah. And it's not one of those ones where you're like, we'll just start playing and you'll pick it up. No, no. you won't. No, it's no, not. That, so that, Yeah, it's, it's one of the ones that you don't suggest unless you're quite sure they'll already like it. Okay. Well, we're playing King of Tokyo today, which is, which is more of a trifle, I would suggest. Uh, but lovely to have you back on the show. Let's see who else is joining us. Hello, I'm Dan Evans. Uh, stand up and write up. You know, the big war, there's a big water stones at uh, Piccadilly Circus. I was in the big water stones doing one of my, doing one of my book signings. And uh, I managed the whole first floor before they caught me. So... 
funny because as a kid, and this is so long ago now, we used to lose days to it in a friend's garage. We play uh, Monopoly and things really seriously for hours on end. But I probably haven't played a board game for four or five years. And then it would have been Scrabble or Mastermind. So not even a long form one. I've got fond memories of Empire of the Ants, which was about 1978. It was a film, it was a late 70s film where some ants ate some radiation and got really big. It feels like it should have been in the 50s, but it was in the uh, in the 70s. I've, real, I've realised I've done the one thing that I never do in these contexts, which is hint at what my true age is. That's like <laughs> the, the one thing that must never be known is my true age. <laughs> Tonight, Matthew, I'm being the Kraken. 27-year-old Dan Evans. <laughs> I knew you'd keep that bit in. <laughs> You're the monster here, James. <laughs> I am. <laughs> uh, man, of course, the deadliest monster of all. Uh, what are you wearing there, Dan? I've been decorating, uh, and so I've got it. It's a bit like a children's TV presenter thing, but it's covered <laughs> in paint. Um, and I'm, I'm a, the, the, it's, it's raining in about an hour, and I've painted a load of stuff that said, don't paint unless you've got a day without rain so it probably was quite a bad idea but i just didn't move for it you know it's that kind of edgy behavior that has uh, given you the name of one of the bad boys of the uk comedy circuit <laughs> down you're painting in proximity to rain uh lovely to have you on the show in my brain, but when you said it's raining in an hour i just thought how does he know that <laughs> I've never just, remembered whether it was. Uh, yes, I've just all over the Met Office website. <laughs> I, I love you. Oh my God. I've got no special powers. Really I wouldn't quickly. be decorating my own house if I had special powers. Uh, or maybe you would as a hobby. Uh, lovely to have you on the show at last, Dan. It's your first time. Uh, let's. Uh, we've also got another uh, debutante to the live stream today. Hi, I'm Louise Atkinson. I'm a comedian. Uh, but I, so I also got to see some friends as well, and I realised how much I'd missed. Uh, not only my friends, but in particular, uh, my best friend's mother. I adore this woman. To give you an idea of what she's like, uh, we once had an argument for 45 minutes because she thought guacamole was a country. I'm an avid game player. I am a big fan of Settlers of Catan, which is an absolute classic. Physically abusing all contestants in my proximity is quite good. Also, um, heavily collecting sheep. I do heavily relate to the character of King Kong, particularly when he's at the top of the Empire State Building and it's very cold, which is what I'm suffering in my flat at the minute as I refuse to turn the heating on before November. I am going to be a million stories high and exceptionally gargantuan, and I'm going to be Gigazor. Louise Atkinson. Hello, Louise. You're on mute. Let me unmute you. <laughs> Uh, hey, welcome Hello. to the show. Thank you. It, it's uh, You've done the show in Edinburgh, of course. This is your first time on the live stream. I have. Um, and I have not provided the correct lighting, like some snazzy ring light or something like that. So I look a little bit blue, which is my laptop screen and not my complexion. Okay, fair enough. We'll, we'll write that down. Louise is not blue in Thank you. real life. <laughs> Uh, excellent. And now, uh, you were, when we spoke the other day, you were saying how much you really loved Kong, King Kong and wanted to be King Kong. Uh, you're playing the character of uh, Gigazor uh, um, in the show today. Are you disappointed by that? I am. I'm not going to lie to you. Gigazor looks cracking like, and I relate to him a lot. We've got the same eyes, but I really did want to be King Kong. So I'm a bit gutted. I was looking yeah. for that one. There's, yeah. there's uh, Louis, <laughs> looks just uh, like Gigazor. Him. <laughs> Just like you. Has got a bit of a blue tinge to it. There you um, go. <laughs> there, there is a reason why you can't be King Kong in the game, mm -hmm. and that is because another player had bagsied it uh, before I spoke to you. Uh, so let's introduce them to the screen. Hello, my name is Carl Donnelly. I do a podcast with two vegan idiots. I'm a good comedian with um, uh, uh, missed opportunities. <laughs> <laughs> if I could, yeah, that's honest. Um, I often get asked questions about sort of my protein and things like that. It's often by quite big guys come up and be like, where'd you get your protein from? And uh, I don't know what protein is. I'm going to state that right now. I've been vegan for six years. I'm not dead. So I reckon it must be in the air. <laughs> but to be honest, the only times I really play board games are on this show. Think of them a bit like musicals. I always think I don't like them until I'm doing it or like I'm watching it or... 
I went to Osaka to do some shows, and I also did a show in Kyoto where um, I managed to convince the people that ran the show that it would be fun to ride bikes between the two cities along the, the, the river. Turns out it's about a, eight, it's like a seven or eight hour bike ride. And by the time we got there and did the show that night, we were all exhausted. Look out, Tokyo. I'm going to be the king. Yes, uh, the King Kong character was taken by Carl Donnelly. Hey, guys. Apologies, Louise, for stealing your hero. Uh, thanks for coming back on the stream, Carl. Lovely to see you. Uh, you've had an interesting uh, preparation for this show, haven't you? <laughs> what, my, my incredibly spicy curry that I had uh, in the sound. I was eating it in the sound chat. I ran out of time. I was still cooking it. Didn't let it cook down enough. The chili was still very pronounced. My eyes were red and I was sweating profusely and dabbing my head like a 60s song singer. Okay, so uh, if, if there is any bluffing or poker-like uh, tactics in the, in the show today, uh, Carl's sweating is not a tell. I also just, um, while we, I was waiting to join the thing, I realised I've actually got full baby sick on my shoulder. Luckily, <laughs> 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 my, name, my name bar, how does that work? Oh, I can't yeah. work out the angles. Um, the opposite way to what you think, isn't it? Yeah, it is. Oh, who knew? But um, yeah, it's like that's hiding quite a large bit of sick. Okay, we should point out that Carl has uh, recently uh, become the father of a baby, and that's <laughs> recently become the child <laughs> catcher. So <laughs> <laughs> I need to get that out. I need to tell everyone on it. <laughs> And that's why he's got that. Right, we're going to be playing King of Tokyo, guys. Um, I put together a really confusing rules explanation video to help everyone follow what's going on. King of Tokyo is a 2011 game designed by Richard Garfield off of Magic the Gathering and published by Yellow. Each player controls a non-copyright infringing monster such as Gigazawa, Gigazawa? and The King. Hmm. On each turn, six dice are rolled, with two re-rolls allowed. Here's what the dice rolls mean. Numbers. Roll three numbers the same to score that many points. If you roll extra dice of that number, you score one extra point per dice. So the most you can score is six. Hearts. Hearts heal you by giving you health points. Lightnings. Each lightning you roll gives you an energy cube, which can be used to buy special powers. Claws. The first player who rolls a claw goes into Tokyo. You get one point for entering Tokyo, and if you're there at the start of your turn, you get two points. But in Tokyo, you cannot heal. While you're in Tokyo, any claws you roll knock health points from every other player. But any claws rolled by other players mean you lose health. If attacked while in Tokyo, you can choose whether to stay or to yield, in which case you leave Tokyo and are replaced by the attacker. The winner is the first 20 points or the last monster standing. And we can go over live to Tokyo now. Uh, <laughs> As you can see, we've got Tokyo over here. This is where you'll have the opportunity to go and punch everyone else, uh, should you so wish. Uh, and we've also got uh, some other things going on, and I'll explain those as and when. I'm just going to remove that so that we can see Laura's face in the game. Yeah. <laughs> thought she'd worn a branded mask. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Laura, you're at the top of the screen, so you're going to be uh, first player. Uh, in a moment, I'm going to be rolling these dice for you. Uh, we have special guest appearance today from the Cup from Stone Age. <laughs> oh, and uh, oh, and by the way, we uh, if you are watching on Facebook, Twitch, YouTube, and you want to comment and join in with the show, you can. We're already getting um, comments in. Oh, sorry, my Laura. friend is watching on Facebook, and she WhatsApp me, "Hi, Kirsty," to say that the comments seem to be disabled, maybe. Huh. Uh, or Kirsty's video, I don't know, but one of those. Hi, Kirsty. Okay, well, we are having some problems with some of the Facebook comments, uh, but I think that's a... Do you, do you vet the comments, James? Uh, well, I can see them all here, and we don't really genuinely get abuse. Uh, we've already had... Um, Baldy says, Dan, weather wizard Evans. Yeah, we've had that. It's not really an insult, is it? Uh, and uh, Adam is pointing out that so there is a separate specific King Kong character expansion for King of Tokyo, uh, okay. which I do not have, I'm afraid. I do not have. Uh, all right. Um, I don't know. Yeah, there might be online. Some of the Facebook feeds might not be working, but I think that's an issue with Facebook, not with us. It's not our fault. Oh, that is the only thing that's ever been wrong with Facebook. <laughs> <laughs> 
if people go to Twitch or, or watch us on YouTube, you can definitely comment on those because I can see those comments coming in. All right. Uh, so we're going to be yeah, we're going to be rolling the dice, and then Laura, you're going to be deciding what you want to do with those dice. Uh, All right. As, as you can see, we have some cards here that you can buy as special uh, powers. Don't don't worry, you don't need to squint. It'll be fine. I'll go through them. Uh, you spend energy cubes to um, to buy those uh, cards, and they give you special powers for the whole game. Sometimes, but well, sometimes it's just things you can do once. Uh, what I'll do now is I'm going to go over to me to explain what the starting cards are. <laughs> Thank you, James. These are the cards that are available to buy at the start of the game. National Guard. For three energy cubes, you can buy the National Guard. You'll score two points, but you'll also take two damage. National Guard. Or perhaps you'd prefer your own dedicated news team. For three energy cubes, you will gain one point every time you buy a card. Dedicated news team. Or for a staggering six energy cubes, your own skyscraper to squat upon. This card immediately scores you four points. Skyscraper. Does that help? Yeah. No. yeah. All right. Marvellous. Uh, Laura, your turn is first. I'm going to shake the dice for you. Oh, and I'm delighted to see that the camera is lagging already. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, there we go. Oh, there we go. Love it. There we go. I like oh. it. It's tense. There we go. Oh. Right. This is what you've rolled. You've got uh, three claws, a lightning, a heart for healing, and a two. Uh, you can okay. re-roll up to twice. And which of these dice do you want to re-roll? Um, question. A claw takes me to Tokyo. Yes. Can I punch people on this go? Or no, is it only if will... I roll claws in Tokyo? Uh, you will have to get into Tokyo on this go and then on your next go roll claws. So I might as well re-roll my two claws, I think? All of the claws or just two? Just two? Ha okay. Oh, Mine... hang on, hang on. So what? I can. I thought I could roll two dice. No, you can re-roll up to twice. You can re-roll as many oh, okay. of the dice as you want. I will keep my energy point and my two and my claw, and I'll re-roll that heart. Okay. As well as the claws. Please throw them on the floor. <laughs> yeah, I want some floor dice. Okay. I <laughs> I'm going to predict what you're going to roll here. I think you're going to roll a one and two hearts. Uh, and that's because uh, the camera is lagging behind reality. <laughs> oh. Hey, who, who knew? Um, All right. But presumably I'm on full health, right? You're on full health. You don't need hearts. Right. Let's re-roll that one and the two hearts then, please. Okay. We're going to re-roll that. something better, please, James. I'll do what I can. Um, yeah. Um, it, okay, it's two, uh, you've rolled uh, two more energy cubes and a three. So basically, you've ended Ooh. up with. Uh, oh, hang on. <laughs> it's one of those one of those shows. There that, you go. That, right. like, that felt like that. a cheated move. <laughs> there was different ones on there, surely, before you. The Shut camera. up, Donnelly. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Curry. So. <laughs> so I'd like to go to Tokyo and buy a news team, please, to follow me around and make a okay. reality TV show. Laura goes into Tokyo. There you can see Laura's in Tokyo. Yeah. <laughs> you get one point for going into Tokyo. Uh, you get three energy cubes, which you're going to spend straight away on a dedicated news team, which means yeah. uh, every time you buy a card, you're going to get a point. Yeah. Uh, and uh, and that's it. That's the end of your turn. That's the end of the first well turn. Done, uh, okay, well done. That was a good move. You're off the mark. But and it means we have a gap in the market, guys. So I'm going to draw the next card and uh, add that to the market. It's the energy hoarder. What does that mean? Be an energy hoarder. For three energy cubes, you will get a point for every six energy cubes you have at the end of your turn. Energy hoarder. There you go. So basically, if you stockpile energy cubes, that's going to give you some points. Uh, that's what that does. All right. It is Dan Evans's go. <clears throat> okay. Here are your dice. I predict you will get two energy cubes, two claws, a three and a two. 
So is my claws are my claws of any use to having a go at Laura because she's within Tokyo and I'm outside? Ah, oh, piss off, Dan. Well, no, no, I don't know how it works. I'm just finding what my options are. You know. Oh, but the first <laughs> okay. thing you ask about is how to hurt me. All right. Uh, uh, can I hurt you... Laura in real life with the, the guy? <laughs> <laughs> Only no, emotionally. Um, the, uh, <laughs> if you have claws at the end of your roll, you will take uh, you will take health away from Laura, and then Laura can decide whether she's going to stay in Tokyo or yield to you. Okay. Um, so, I mean, you know, I suppose if I were mean spirited, I could just roll the other four and try and get as many claws and just fire them all at Laura, couldn't I? You could do that, but you make a powerful enemy. So yeah. you can can you you can use uh, more than one claw on one person at any one time. Yes, uh, if you're not in Tokyo, you you punch the person in Tokyo. If you're if you're in Tokyo, you punch everyone else. Okay. Is it okay. punching if you're using a claw? It sounds more like scratching. <laughs> but then there's an scratch. argument. Isn't there an argument then for using maximum? force on laura in order that because she has a lot of power being in there at the moment she could uh, you know if we don't make her her preoccupation should be saving her health shouldn't it that's so a, that's one that. thing you can do okay so you I, can think? you i want to just um can i re-roll the three and the uh no all everything but the claws oh i mean there was a, a tribute act to everything but the girl with cats in it. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you've rolled two more Ooh. claws. Okay, uh, and I can have another roll as well, can't I? Yes, you can. So I'll get the two numbers, get rid of the two numbers. <laughs> wow, this is excellent play. Early you on. are so lucky James told us what words we can't say in this stream. <laughs> <laughs> well, no, I mean, at some point we're going to have to have conflict, aren't we? So it might as well... So we might as well be the first go, eh? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> so well, the upshot, the upshot yeah. of this is that Laura loses six health. Six? Um, six. Oh, sorry. <laughs> Laura loses four health and goes to six. I apologise. I misspoke. It was because I was writing down the number six as I was talking. Why did she um, go to six? Because she started with ten. You clawed at me, oh, yeah. Dad. <laughs> okay. Are the other two no good for me? The other two dice have no value or not? Um, this, you only the numbers only score if you roll three of a kind, and you've okay. only rolled one. And the hearts only heal you if you need healing. Dan, currently you have all your health, so you. Well, in that case, I have to fire all four of those. But I'd call them paws rather than claws because it's the whole. <laughs> it's got the pad as well. Yes, or. <laughs> All at Laura, because that's the only person I can have a go at, isn't it? Because she's the only one in yeah. Tokyo. No, yeah, that, okay. is, that has happened, Dan. That okay. ship has sailed. That is going on. Laura, right. though, you can decide now whether you're going to yield to Dan and put Dan in Tokyo. No, Dan can absolutely get... <laughs> okay, you're not yielding. <laughs> no. All right, okay, so Dan scores Laurie. no points. Staying in Tokyo. Okay. And we go to uh, Louise's turn. Hi, Louise. Hi. Let's have a look at what you've got. All right. Oh, some big numbers here. Got two Ooh. threes. There's a two, two uh, lightnings and a heart. What would you like to do? Right. So the numbers are for me getting like, what are they? My experience points. They are experience yeah, they get, they get points for you, uh, but you need three of a kind. Okay. So three threes will score you three points. And then the lightning bolts are to buy the cards at the top. Yes, that's right. Okay, I'm going to re-roll my numbers and my heart. All your numbers. Oh, you said it like that now. So now <laughs> just, I'm going to just, to just the two, then I'll keep the threes. Oh, okay. come on. That's coaching. I know. I feel I've been like, oh, it's not. Oh, the same oh that is a Sophie's <laughs> choice. I mean, the film would have been very different if this was what it was about. <laughs> <laughs> would have been better. Yeah, I would have watched that show if it was Giggas R and King or whatever it is. <laughs> um, uh, well, now I don't know what to do. You've got one more re-roll. Well, that's part of what playing a game is about, isn't it? Taking control. That is true. Making decisions. <laughs> yeah. I'm gonna, do you know what, sod it. I'm going to just re-roll all the numbers now. I've got six numbers. Whoa. I'm just going to see what happens. Okay, here we go then. Let's see. Could be anything. You've got the two threes back. <laughs> <laughs> and you've got two hearts which are completely worthless. So, James, uh, what are you doing with these rolling? Why do I keep getting these threes? I don't know. I'm using the special Stone Age cup. 
and everything. Well, what's wrong with it? It drops mm. it on the floor. It just gives me threes. Uh, what has happened is you've got two energy cubes. Um, unfortunately, nothing in the market is that cheap, Brilliant. so you can't spend them. Uh, so we move on to Carl. Yeah. It's the story of my life. <laughs> <laughs> right. I think I'm sort of understanding what's happening. Okay. Here. You've got two twos, two ones, a claw, and a heart. What do you want to do? I think I'll keep the claw and re-roll the rest for my first Carl, roll. as the vegan, you yeah. are not allowed to hurt a dragon. <laughs> I, do, I don't think they're real, so technically I am allowed to. Well, they're not anymore them. because people ate them to it's death. Because of you lot, me eating. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Why. don't uh, become us. Uh, Carl, do you not kill animals as well as not eat them? <laughs> <laughs> no, I do, I do regularly oh, go hunting. It's <laughs> a bit of a loophole with a vegan. No, I, mean, I am a major shareholder in an abattoir, but yeah, I don't eat it. <laughs> <laughs> you know, you've got to have some income stream. <laughs> <laughs> uh, technically, as well, Laura is a mecha dragon, so she's metal. Ooh. Do you eat metal? Oh, I thought I was just playing bingo. <laughs> Uh, uh, right. Hello. Okay, this is what you've ended up with. Ooh. You've got three claws. You've got a, a lightning cube, a one and a two. You've got one more re-roll. I think I'm going to go for the um, Dan Evans special and roll my three non-claws. Carl! So, I'm not, I'm not, you don't know what I'm going to do. I don't like you since you've had a baby. <laughs> nobody has a game Sorry. threes and numbers, have they? Ah, All right, that's what so uh, you're going to pick up a, you're going to pick up an energy cube which you can't spend right now but you might be able to spend later and you're going to oh punch Laura three times which means Laura's health goes down to three. Uh, Laura, Can we kill Laura really quickly and just the three of us just carry on playing. Um, <laughs> well, you haven't yet. The, no, no, but uh, if, if everyone. <laughs> Sorry, Laura, I'm just I'm exploring the possibilities because I know you're <laughs> so keen on gaming that it would be a tragedy if you of all people were immediately. <laughs> <Not out. laughs> um, Laura, your choice is this. You can yield Tokyo to Carl. If you do that, Carl will get a point for going into Tokyo, and then he's in Tokyo for everyone to punch. If, you, I... if you choose not to yield, and it's your turn next, you will get two points for just being in Tokyo at the start of your turn. Oh, I didn't know about this. Can I yield Tokyo on my turn? <laughs> no, you can only yield when someone punches you. I so well, I'm going to stay in Tokyo. Please. I thought you were going right. to say you can either yield on my terms. <laughs> <laughs> negotiate from you. I'm coming out, but I want a, immunity. <laughs> a withdrawal agreement. <laughs> yes. There is another factor to t take into account, Laura, which is that if you roll any hearts while you're in Tokyo, they have no effect at all. Yeah, well, nobody else in this game has a heart, so I don't see why I should need one. <laughs> All right, staying just, in Tokyo. All right, I'm just letting you know now that if Dan no, rolls, if Dan rolls three claws, no, I wouldn't necessarily. I wouldn't do that. I wouldn't do that. People okay, will have tuned in. Fans tune, of law will have tuned in for this, so it wouldn't be right to do that. Okay, that's what uh, somebody who would do it would say. Yeah, <laughs> So the upshot is that Laura stays in Tokyo. She picks up two points for being in Tokyo at the start of her turn, and it is now Laura's go. One question, Jane. Yes. How is Tokyo City and Tokyo Bay different in terms of the way we play the game? Um, for us, absolutely no difference whatsoever. That is purely if you uh, you use both if you have uh, five or six players, and we okay. don't. Uh, it just means two people are in Tokyo at once instead of one. But it's kind of more fun when it's just one. Okay, here are some dice for you, Laura. You've got three twos. You've got a claw, which would punch everyone. Ooh. And you've got two ones. What would you like to do? Uh, hmm. I would like to re-roll the two ones, please. <laughs> You got a one and a heart. Both of them completely useless. I'll re-roll them both, please. Okay. Why is the heart useless? Because I can't uh, heal in Tokyo. Okay. It's another two. Ooh. Which means you're going to score three points, Laura. You're up to six. Brilliant. Uh, you've also punched everyone. So everyone else's health has gone down to nine. 
But um, I only meant to punch Dan, but he ducked, which meant I caught <laughs> Louise, who is an Thank innocent you. bystander. Thank you. Just I want you to know that. little to aggravate anybody, including a no relevant dice. So I... <laughs> <laughs> okay. And that's the end of your turn, Laura. Dan, we move on to you. Okay. You have no points, no energy cubes, and nine health. <laughs> okay, I'm... Oh. You've got three ones. That's worth one point. You've got a two. You've got two energy cubes. What do you want to do? Roll everything but the energy cubes. You've got another energy cube. You've got a, a heart, a two and a three. I suppose I should just roll the two and the three, shouldn't I? I don't know. Yes, yes. I, d I don't know what you're going to roll. It's a claw and a two. Well, so, I suppose I have to... Can I take the health point for me, don't I? Well, you, you are definitely having these things. So your health point, you are healing back up to maximum health. Yeah, you're and I get, my, I get that National Guard card if I want it, don't I? Yes, yeah, so you want to buy the, three, the National Guard card with your three energy cubes? Well, why else would I have them? Just keep them in case something else was handy. In case you want to save up for something else. But you can buy it. It's absolutely fine. Yeah, I'm going to buy that. And then I've got no choice. I suppose I could opt to not use my claw, couldn't I? No, you have to use it because you've rolled okay, it. Okay, I'm sorry, Laura. Uh, that was, I was really trying to steer away from that. Uh, yes, I'll have that. I'll have the international right. guard. Okay, so Dan's going to get two points for taking the card, but he also takes two damage. So he goes down to eight. Uh, that card is yours, Dan, uh, and it is now out of the game you have punched laura meaning she is down to two health laura would you like to yield tokyo yes okay laura yields tokyo to dan who is now in tokyo so that dan, card is now irrelevant isn't it yeah you took everything you it's got been you and gone. From, yeah, yeah okay that's cool okay but dan you do get a point for being in tokyo so oh, that's, that's nice three points to you uh, behind Laura, who is on six. Uh, and it means we have a gap in the market, guys. So let's find out what the new card is going to be. Okay, it is extra head. Why not grow an extra head? That's right, for seven energy cubes, your monster will sprout another noggin, which means you will get to roll an extra dice in every turn from then on. Extra head. Stop giggling. Extra head there. Uh, That's it's a expensive, game changer, isn't it? Though extra dice every time. Yeah, yeah, it could be could be worth it. Uh, Louise, it is your turn. You have two energy cubes. You have nine health and no points. I thought I had three energy cubes. So I only had two. That's a shame. You only had two. You've rolled two twos, two ones, an energy cube, and a heart. Uh, all right, I'm going to keep my heart. So I go back up to full health. I'm going to keep my energy cube. Yeah. And then roll the numbers. Rerolling the numbers. Please. Okay. You've rolled a claw, which would hit Dan. Another heart, which you don't need. A one and a three. Um, right. Oh, another heart I don't need. Maybe I could give it to a tin man. Um, <laughs> also, does Dan's character have a Venus Dan, Venus if you like. Yeah. Uh, does Dan's character have a Venus flytrap as a hand? Let's let's take a closer look. Um, and when I say take I think... a closer look, <laughs> very delayed closer look. <laughs> it's coming. It's coming. Oh yeah, that's good. Uh, oh, it's a it's a it's a crustacean thing, isn't it? Crap. Oh, it's just a big crab. I thought it was like a Venus flash. It's like a um, a uh, just a, a green mango with a slice in it. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, yes. vegan in it. I just thinking fruit. <laughs> Um, can I roll my one of my hearts and my two numbers, please? Yep, sure thing. We're going to roll those three dice for you. I will predict <laughs> what will happen. You've rolled uh, another energy cube, a claw, and a three. Here they come. Look. <laughs> there they are. Look at that. Um, so uh, you are now on four energy cubes. You are now healed up to mm -hmm. ten health. Uh, you have punched Dan twice. Oh, Dan. Okay. Um, you have I enough. 
you have enough cubes, Louise, to buy the energy hoarder card, uh, which means you would score one point every time you have six energy cubes in your hand. I know, but I think I'm, I'm aiming for a different card, so I'm going to just keep my key. Oh, I shouldn't have said that, did I? That's bad perker. Um, I'm going to just keep my key, I think. Okay, okay. Uh, Dan, you've been hit twice. Your uh, your health has gone down to six. Would you like to yield, Tokyo? No, I'm not, not going to yield, no. Okay, all right. Uh, we've had this in from Emma on YouTube. Carl needs to get the extra head. Come on, Kong, we're rooting for you. There we go. Thank you, Emma Taylor. That's Thank sort you. Of a sort of moral support i need uh yeah there you go so carl is uh, your turn yeah. your dice are coming and i will tell you in advance what you will roll uh you have rolled three twos Ooh. a claw oh, a heart and a one what am i currently i'm currently on nine health nine health have, you've got one got energy any, cube. you don't have energy cube. Cube. you have no points as it stands I feel like points are for losers. <laughs> it should be well, more it's actually the opposite, though, isn't it? I'm more attack-minded than I am uh, sort of securing points. So do or, or do I... What are them three twos? Does that mean I get one point? Two. Two uh, points. Two. two points you will get. All right, I'll hold on to them. Just, you know, put a couple in the yeah. bank. Okay. And I'll roll the heart and the one. It's always good to get your heart up, though, isn't it? That's one of... I'm gambling with my life. Yeah. Okay. You've rolled another two, which means you will now score three points uh, and an energy cube. Um, I'm going to roll the energy cube. Okay. It's a one, which is worth nothing. Uh, so you're going to score three points. So you're off the mark with three points. You are now Thank tied you. in second place with Dan. And you have punched Dan, whose health goes down to five. Dan, do you yield Tokyo? No, because I suppose I need to try and be in Tokyo for the next round, A, for the points, but B, so I can punch everyone. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I'm right, though, aren't I? There's no point backing out. Yeah. Got to uh, if, Tokyo. if Laura rolls five claws, you will be dead. Just so you know. I don't think that's going to happen. Okay, all right, confident. Uh, Laura, the game is back with you. Uh, oh, you have two, two claws, an energy cube, a three, a heart, and a one. I'll keep the claws and the heart, please, and I'll roll everything else. Don't say in advance, James. That's it. Ooh. 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 I'll keep the claws and the heart, and I'll re-roll the two, please. Okay. Dan will survive to his go. It's just a <sighs> Fair dude. So, Laura, you heal from two up to four. Uh, you Big money dollar. You punch Dan three times. His health goes down to two. <laughs> uh, Dan, do you yield Tokyo? Well, no, I have to. Uh, I can't yield now, can I? Well, you, yes, you can. That's why I'm asking. No, no, I won't. I shall not yield. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Okay. Uh, very well. Uh, He'll die on his shield before letting him. Okay, Dan, you have three points, and you're just about to get two more. You're now up to five points because uh, you are in Tokyo at the start of your go. Remember, you can't heal in Tokyo, Dan. All right, you've rolled three twos, a three, a one, and a heart, which you can't use. Uh, Reroll the three, the one, and the heart. You rolled a claw and two ones. The two ones are useless, aren't they? Well, you'd need a third one to score a point yeah. with it. Just roll the two ones, please. <laughs> it's a one and a three. Oh, well, I guess I'll just have to take with what's... Uh, punch them all once and get my two <laughs> points, I guess. Is that right? Yeah. Yes, that's what's going to happen. Okay. So uh, Laura's health goes down to three. Uh, what's Louise, my health? Your uh, health is two. Yeah. Uh, Louise You're goes dead, down to... Dead man walking, mate. Louise goes down yeah. to nine and Carl goes down to eight. Uh, and the game is with Louise Atkinson, who has health of nine, four energy cubes, and no points. Oh. She's rolled a claw, a lightning, uh, two ones, and two hearts. Um, I'm going to keep a heart, an energy cube, and a claw. Okay. Please. Just just so you know, Dan, if she rolls another claw and keeps I know, it, I know. 
I know. Yeah, but why would she want to reduce the number of players prematurely? Because <laughs> that's yeah. the name of the game. <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> Maybe it's the one game every game. Game. <laughs> it's like every game in the world. That's literally yeah. the game. <laughs> yeah. All right, of course. <laughs> I know I'm being punished for my bold approach, aren't I? That's the problem. No, we would do this if you had her. <laughs> I think that was cheap. That was cheap. <laughs> Two twos and a one, Dan. Uh, roll again, please. Oh, sorry. It's uh, Laura, Louise's girl. I apologize. Yes, one of them. You're like my nan then, Jane, speaking every name before mine. Like my yeah. Oh, he survived. Oh, you might be able to get your second head. Uh, That's that, what, yeah, how many am I on? You're on six. Oh. Skyscraper. You could buy a skyscraper. A skyscraper. A skyscraper gives you four points, and that's it. And that would get. And what does the extra head do? It means you get to roll another dice, as well every as all. Go. Yeah, every go. And do I have more energy cubes than other people? So, or is somebody going to buy that before me? Do we think? Uh, Carl has one. He could. <laughs> He could potentially buy it if he rolls all energy cubes on his next go. Mm, mm. <gasps> all right, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, yeah, I'm gonna, so I'm gonna save and store up. That's my thing. I'm gonna do. Okay. All right, Dan, you are down to one health. Do you yield? I should yield immediately, please. <laughs> yes. Okay. <laughs> Dan is coming out of Tokyo. Louise is going in. There you go, Louise. Whee! You're in Tokyo. You get a point for being in uh, Tokyo. That uh, means Whee! you're up to, up to one uh, <laughs> points at the moment. Dan is in the lead with seven. Then Laura's on six. Carl's on three. Louise has one. We're moving on to Carl's go. You have eight health and an energy cube to go with your three points. And you've just rolled a couple of claws, a couple of energy cubes, a three and a heart. Um, but, uh, I'll ha oh, I don't know. I'm going to keep the claws, roll, re roll everything else. Oh. All right. All right. It's a one, a two, a another claw and a heart. Uh, keep the claws, roll the other three. Oh, that was a claw. I've knocked it over. Hang on. Let me move it back. You've got an energy cube, a one and a two. Uh, yeah. So you go to two energy cubes, which is not enough to buy anything. Um, and you've, you've punched Laura three times. Laura, uh, me? Sorry. sorry Louise. Louise. <laughs> <laughs> you punched Louise. I've, I've gone rogue. Just... I'm just punching anyone now. <laughs> <laughs> just I don't care if you're in Tokyo or not. I'll punch you, mate. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, yes, you've punched Louise three times. Louise, you're down to seven health. Louise, do you yield to Tokyo? No. I'm going to keep okay. Tokyo. Okay. All right. Mm. So we go back to Laura. It's definitely Laura's yeah. turn now. <laughs> Laura with six points, three health. Okay, you've got a couple of hearts. You've, you've rolled the Phil Collins there. Two hearts. Uh, uh, I'll keep the two hearts and the energy cube, please. Two hearts and the energy cube? Everything else is getting me rolled. It's two ones and another energy cube. I'll keep the energy cube, please. And rolling two ones. Last roll. It's another heart. I love it. Okay. I've doubled my health and I've got some dollar. Okay. Not enough to buy anything yet, but that's the All end right, of All right, James. Turn. All right, mate. <laughs> it's a bad economy. I mean, that's just, I'm just giving information. I'm not editorialising. You're just about talking. Uh, Sorry. Uh, Dan not Evans. Like Dan Evans, one health, mm. seven points. He's rolled can a couple of hearts. Can I keep both my hearts? Yeah. Uh, and I've got – how many points have I got? You've got seven. How many energy points? None. Oh. Uh. I keep the energy bit thing, and I'll roll the two, the three numbers, please. It's another energy. It's a claw, and it's a three. And I've run out of rolls now, haven't I? Uh, no, you no, got one more. Okay, I think I'll I'll just roll the three then. Okay. It's oh, a, great! That's right. good. 
All right, so your health goes up to four. You've picked up two energy cubes, and you've punched uh, Louise. Louise goes down to six. Louise, do you yield Tokyo? No, no, I do no, not. I don't think you should. I don't want to go back in there for the time being. <laughs> then maybe you should. Um, okay, Louise, one point, so six get... health, six energy cubes. So I get two points there because I'm in Tokyo and it's and my You game. get one. I'm I get glad. one. No, you get two. It's you're up to three. You get two yeah, points for being in me. Tokyo at the start of your turn. Oh, yeah, you were, weren't you? You survived the whole turn. Good job. Some of us are playing. I don't know. <laughs> You've rolled three Ooh, threes. That's oh, big points. A one, points a two, and prizes. a half. There are no prizes. No. The prize is playing, James. <laughs> <laughs> the real prize is the friends we made along the way. Louise. Which is not that. <laughs> um, I would like to keep the freeze yep. and roll everything else. <laughs> it's another three. Oh, yes. a and a one. Oh, no, and a punch as well. <laughs> oh, <really? laughs> ah. um, uh, re roll the one, please. Come on. It's another oh. punch. Ah. Huge oh. go. That's Louise. a very, very good go, isn't, isn't it? Louise Thank gets you. four points. She is now in joint first place with seven. She has taken two health off everyone. So Laura goes to four. Dan goes to two. Carl mm -hmm. goes to six. And that's the end of your turn, Louise. Carl, like three, three yeah. points, two energy cubes, six health. I just want to go to Tokyo. Uh, <laughs> what? How am I doing? Uh, <laughs> I suppose I'll keep a heart. Just you know, I need a need a bit of that. And I'm going to roll the other five. I love your big reroll. I know. I just. I'm. Do you know what? I'm a bad gambler, and this is <laughs> just coming up. <laughs> right. Yes. Keep the two hearts and the two claws. Get rid of all that rubbish point things that you can buy stuff with. I'm not here to go shopping, mate. Well, you've got one of them anyway, so... Uh... <laughs> put, it, put it in the very small bank account I've got of those things. Yeah. You have uh, back up to eight health. Uh, you've punched uh, Louise. Louise, you're down to four health. Louise, do you yield? You know what? He's not been to Tokyo, bless him. So I <laughs> Thank oh, you. <laughs> Lovely. Tokyo, hey? This is what we all talk about. There you go. You look proper stoked to be there. Look at your character in his fist bump. <laughs> all right. Carl gets two points. for uh, Sorry, gets a point for going into Tokyo. So you're now up to four. And uh, also you have three energy cubes, which means you could buy the energy hoarder card if you wanted it. Um. Yeah. What, what, was that, what does that do? Uh, it basically means uh, every time you have six energy cubes at the end of your turn, you get a point. That's so not going to happen, is it? Um, <laughs> let's put it back, mate. Put it in the bin. No. All right. Don't want it. It stays in the market then. All right. Uh, and that's the end of your turn. Laura, we go to you. You have two energy cubes, four health, and six points. You are currently one point off the lead. And this is what you've got. You've got a couple of claws. You've got a heart, another heart, a three and a one. I'll re-roll everything but the hearts, please. Ooh. I feel she's going tactical. Another heart, a couple of ones and a three. I'll keep the hearts and re-roll the numbers, please. It's another heart, that's it. Mother lover. Fine. <laughs> Well, you're now healed up to eight. You are now the joint well, healthiest monster in, in Japan. Who's the other one? Louise is the other health one. Right? No, Carl. Carl yeah. got eight. Uh, around Tokyo, healthy as anything. <laughs> Dan, it's your turn. Yeah, okay. You have two energy cubes, two health and seven points. Currently in the joint lead. This is what you've rolled. Uh, almost one of everything. There you go. I want to keep. Can I keep the two hearts and yeah. can I keep the claw? Yeah. And um, I, I might as well keep the energy point and just roll the two numbers. Okay. 
It's another claw and a two. I've just rolled a two again. It's a one. <laughs> okay, right. it's still not a bad hand, is it? You've got to four, you've gone to four health. Yeah. You've got an energy cube, which means you're on three, which means you could buy the energy hoarder if you wanted to. Uh, no, that's lame. Really trying to flog that hoarder. Yeah. Well, yeah. You want well, permission no. or something, mate? <laughs> <laughs> yes. Yes, I am. Uh, I get for every one I sell, I get one energy cube, which I, can, <laughs> I can't use for anything. I just like shiny things. Uh, and you have punched Carl twice, which means Carl's health goes down to six. Carl, do you yield? Absolutely not, mate. I've got six to burn. <laughs> All right. Um, we go uh, hey, James, James, a little point there. Could I, if if Carl had said he was happy to yield, but I didn't want to go in. Do I still have to go in? <laughs> yes, you do. It's Carl's oh. decision. Okay. All right. Uh, so we're back with Louise, who has six energy cubes, four health and seven points in the joint lead. The dice have got stuck in the pot. <laughs> <laughs> there they are. Just pot's more trouble than it's worth. <laughs> yes. You've got a bit of everything there. What do you got? You've got two claws, you've got a heart, you've got a three and two twos. I'm going to keep the heart, one of the claws, and roll the rest, please. That's a mad decision, Louis. Mate, I'm going to get energy from you, dear. I need one of those chances. I need that is That is the most psychotic play I've ever That's seen. Terrible. Oh, I hated that so much. No. <laughs> Um, again, <laughs> <laughs> uh, some yes, energy cube. And I got See, calm oh, that's back. pretty good, actually. All right, See? so <laughs> you hit Louise <laughs> heal. <laughs> Louise heals up to six. She has two energy energy cubes, meaning you have eight. Would you like to spend any? I would like the extra head, please. <laughs> okay, Louise has got the extra head. <laughs> Do you get an extra that roll that or an extra actual dice? Extra oh, dice. Extra oh. Oh. On Louise's does turn. Does that take effect now or on my next go? On your next go. Uh, so Forever. 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 Yes. And ever and never. <laughs> uh, uh, with love. You thought I was all crazy. But you I were. Mean... <laughs> you just rolled back the stuff you already had. <laughs> You don't know. I've got a special green cube now. I'm all right. <laughs> I'm very jealous of your special green cube. There we go. Carl, so you the whole kind of dice. Carl, oh. you have been punched twice, meaning your health is down to four. Do you yield? Absolutely not. All right. Uh, which means Carl's we're going to move gone on. to die in Tokyo. That's quite risky, Carl. You know. <laughs> always, one I've always take. said I'll die in Tokyo. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever you know. <laughs> There's a new card joining the market. It Ooh, is another Ooh. energy hoarder that you can get commission on. <laughs> <laughs> it is. Diesel. It's rapid healing. When I get that feeling, I want rapid healing. For three energy cubes, you can spend two energy cubes at any time to heal a damage. That's some rapid healing. And it can be right. used multiple times, can it? Yes, it's yours for the rest that's, of the game. That's all right, that one. That's way better than that crappy bloody energy order. <laughs> all right, fine. Don't buy then. I was making it. <laughs> I've I realised what it is. Every time I play one of those little videos, that's when the camera starts delaying. So, Carl, I'll predict what you're going to roll. Oh, no, it's, it's caught up again. So, you go. you've got two threes. You've got two hearts, which you can't use because you're in Tokyo. Uh an energy cube and a claw. I should, of course, give you two points for being in Tokyo at the start of your go, meaning yes. you're on six points. Keep um, one of the threes and re-roll everything else. Do it like Louise. Yeah. <laughs> um, I'm going to keep both threes. <laughs> you're mad. Points. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to keep the claw, and then mm. I'm going to roll everything else. Okay. I've got a feeling some threes are coming. I can feel it in my water. There's a three. There's, a three. There's another claw it's and an energy cube. Out, isn't it? Keep the claw and roll. Yeah, just roll that last um, energy thing. It's a one. You, yeah. All right. So uh, that's three points to you, Carl, meaning you go 
uh, into the lead on nine points. Ooh. You've also punched everyone twice, which means yeah. Laura's health goes down to six. Dan's health goes back down to two, mm. and Louise's health goes to four. Uh, you do have three energy cubes. You could buy the uh, you could buy the <laughs> energy hoarder. <laughs> Do you know what? I might or, or I buy it. If, I might buy it just so we don't have to hear about it. Every fucking <laughs> round. Oh, I swore. I said the F word. I was so angry about it. <laughs> um, do you know what? I might I might treat myself to the rapid healer, mate. Oh, right. that's, the a, rap that's a great card. Then. Rapid and, healing um, is yours. That means uh, you can uh, spend two energy cubes to heal. I've not got any left, have I? Um, um, you've got, at, how many life um, lives have I got left? You've got four health. Oh, that's risky, isn't it? Yeah, well, we're going up to Laura's turn now. Uh, Laura, two energy cubes, six health and six points. Now in last place, uh, a two, a three, a one, two energy cubes and a heart. Oh. I will... Sorry, before you decide, I should because we've got a new thing coming into the market. Uh, oh. oh, it is uh, complete destruction. Complete destruction. Let's uh, find out a little bit more about that. That's complete good. destruction. Buy this card for three energy cubes, and if you roll one, two, three, heart, claw, lightning, you will get nine points in addition to the regular results. It's complete destruction. So complete, mm, sort of incomplete destruction, isn't it? Really? Uh, can I keep my energy cube and my three, please? Yeah, sure. Uh, basically, whoever buys the complete destruction card, if they get if they roll one of each on their go, they get nine points. Right. It, Which it's I mean, the odds of that happening are about one in twelve million. So. The card's not as good as I thought it was, to be honest. It made it sound more grand. It's the picture, <laughs> isn't it? What's selling it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Later. Yeah. Oh. Ooh, Ooh, I'll keep the three. Um, and I'll keep the energy cube, and I'll just re-roll the one, please. Okay, here it comes. Ooh, oh, it's a little cat. All, All right. right. So, right. Uh, three energy cubes means you go up to five. You don't. Can I point. spend three on complete destruction, please? Yep, sure. Complete destruction is yours. And I get a point every time I buy a card, don't I, because of my yes. PR people. Yes, so you go up to seven for that. Um, you have also punched Carl once, which means Carl goes down to three. Carl, do you yield Tokyo? No, let's see if uh, let's see what Dan's going to throw at me. <laughs> well, you see, I'm torn, but I've got to heal pretty rapidly. But then that's what I mean, mate. We've I all got, the, we've all got decisions to make, mate, yeah. haven't we? We've all got decisions to make. <laughs> <laughs> There's a new card coming. It Ooh, is oh, here we go. Uh, Nova Breath. Would you like to suffer from Nova Breath? For seven energy cubes, your attacks will damage all other monsters thanks to your terrible Nova Breath. How, right, many, so do I ha how many do I have? How many points? No, energy uh, cubes. How many energy you cubes? You have three energy cubes, two health, and seven points, Dan. Okay. Um, yeah, the Nova Breath basically means when you attack, whether you're in Tokyo or not, you hit everyone else. That's a good one. Here come your dice, Dan. Oh, it's going to be there in about a month. You've got two threes, a two, a one, a heart, and a, a, a lightning. Keep the Would heart. You... Yeah. Keep the lightning. Yeah. Everything else? Uh, roll everything else. I need those hearts. You've rolled another heart, another energy cube, a one and a two. Ooh. Well, um, in that case, keep the heart and the energy cube and roll the two numbers again, and I hope for both. It's another heart and a two. So, Ooh, yes, that's, that's nice. I survived. You help, you heal up to <laughs> you heal up to five. You've got uh, five energy cubes as well, which means you could buy no. The energy <laughs> <laughs> it's so lame it's just not worth bothering with it really isn't okay fair enough uh which means we're down with louise and her extra head Ooh. 
means there are going to be uh, seven dice oh, being rolled here. I'm dead. I forgot about the extra head. Ugh. All right. Claw. Claw. Energy cube, energy cube. Heart, heart, two. That is a sexy roll. Do you know what I mean? Yes. Yeah, mate. Just going to roll the two, mate, obviously. Oh. Oh, yuck. It's a one. Kill him. I'm Kill him, Louise. A... But again. <laughs> Please. Again. More. <laughs> it's a claw. Oh. Oh, 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 oh! It's happened. My little Hulk dice helped me. <laughs> All right. Goddamn green dice <laughs> killed me. Uh, <laughs> so, uh, Louise, you go up to six health. You go up to three energy cubes. Uh, Carl, you have been killed. Are you, you are, dead? Is he? Is he Carl, killed? You are out of the game. Uh, oh, Kong wow. is dead. <laughs> Uh, he leaves Tokyo, uh, uh, which means can I not which... be buried in Tokyo? <laughs> <It's my laughs> one wish. Yeah, so I'll bury you in Tokyo. That uh, just put me under it. We're going to hoard your energy in dire. Tokyo. <laughs> just peeking out, peeking just out can, outside. Can you just put um, can you put energy hoarder in my grave? <laughs> <laughs> no energy hoarder goes in the grave. No one wants to buy it anyway. <laughs> See, I think that would have made all the difference, personally. <laughs> um, which means Louise goes into Tokyo automatically. She dances oh. on your grave. Yeah. Um, and, oh, there's a gap in the market because we have retired that card. Uh, <laughs> there we go. Oh, R.I.P. Kong's Baldy. Baldy 3. Uh, on Twitch. Um so, yeah, we've got a new card coming in. Let's find out what that is. Oh, it's the uh, Fire Blast. Fire Blast! For three energy cubes, you will deal two damage to all other monsters immediately. It's a Fire Blast. That's quite cool. That's a good one. It's a Fire oh, Blast. Man. Carl, do you mind not? We're trying to play the game here, mate. You're not in it. <laughs> <laughs> you just mute, mute me. And just just sort of, we're trying to think <laughs> things through. It's sort of it's like, I'll, I'll just react facially. I've done like, <laughs> it. You already look like you're in the Bohemian Rhapsody video. <laughs> <laughs> That's so black behind you, isn't it? Yeah, I'm in a cave. <laughs> that, have you chosen that as your backdrop? <laughs> yeah, it's, a, it's actually a virtual background. <laughs> <laughs> Um, okay, right. So the state of the game then with three players left in is you all have seven mm. points. You're all fairly even. Uh, Laura has six health and two energy cubes. Dan has five health and five energy cubes. Louise has uh, six health, three energy cubes, and an extra head. Uh, so, Laura, the game is with you. And you have rolled two twos, a heart, a lightning, a claw, and a one. I will keep the lightning and the claw, please. All right. See where this is going. A heart, a, 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 a cube, and two ones. Mm. We roll it all, but except my cube and my lightning, please. So keep these two. Re re roll the four I just rolled. Yeah. 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 Oh, okay. Uh, it's a no yeah, it's pretty much exactly the same. It's uh <laughs> yeah, so you got Two energy cubes and two claws. So you are now up to four energy cubes. Uh, you are going to punch Louise twice. Yeah. She goes to four. Uh, you have four energy cubes. You could afford the fire blast. Yes, please. I'd like to buy the fire blast. Okay. Yeah. So that costs you three. It means everyone takes two damage. That's you, Dan. What, immediately? Um, yeah. And you, Louise. But not you, Carl, because you're already dead. <laughs> <laughs> I'm down in hell with energy hoarder. And uh, Laura goes to eight points because she has the special power where if she buys a card, she gets a point. Uh, which means there's a gap in the market. Uh, I only made like 12 of these videos. I, I thought we won't use more cards than that. Uh, it's, <laughs> it's a corner store. Corner store! What would a monster want with a corner store? I have no idea, but for three energy cubes, you'll get a point. Hey, it's not a library. It's a corner store. The corner it's store. Day, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. It's basically the, oh, when did you last so e-bobble your playing service, Surface James? <laughs> the felt. Oh, so, uh, yeah. <laughs> like this, this, 
This old thing, yeah. It's, yes. uh, it's, it's in a lot of action, Evans. It's in a lot of action. <laughs> <laughs> this is my date night felt. Um, <laughs> <laughs> it's your go, Dan. Okay. Here we go. Let's roll some dice. You're on three health, by the way. Wait, do I not get the option to yield in that password? Oh, yes, of course. Sorry, Louise, you, do you want to yield? Yeah, because I, I almost dead. <laughs> yes, you are almost dead. Okay. Louise yields. Laura goes back in. Laura gets another point. Laura's on nine. I'm going to sneakily kill me. Sorry. Uh, there's a lot, lot of things to keep track of here, and I'm very old and stupid. Uh, Dan, that's what you've rolled. I can't see the, the – it, so if I get – those, I've got one point from those three ones, haven't I? That's correct. That seems quite pointless to me. Can, can you – can you, I'll well, keep... I mean, it's literally not pointless. That's no, one point. <laughs> it's as near to pointless as the game can get. I want to, I want to keep the claw and the heart, and then roll the other four. Okay. I don't think this game's going to twenty points. That's all right. That's part of it. Okay, it's another claw. It's a three, and it's another two ones. Do I get to roll again? Yes, you got one more reroll. Uh, roll all the numbers again. A three or two and a heart. Okay, that's not so, terrible, is it? Yeah. Okay, you go up to five health. You punch Laura twice. She goes uh, down to four health. Laura, do you yield? <laughs> no. Laura, do you yield? Oh, yeah. Sorry, I was on mute because <laughs> I was researching my complete destruction card. I'm sorry. Uh, <laughs> can I buy something with something? Can I buy something before I go? Yeah, you've got five. You could buy a corner store. You, what was the no Oh, that's the only one I've got. Is it? And that was just buying points, wasn't it? It's like a buying apple, like a cheat. <laughs> <laughs> just yeah. as like I'm just buying. Well, I'll tell you what. Yeah, let do the corner store one. Okay, he's buying a corner store, which means you get down to two energy cubes, but you get another point, which means you're on nine, same as Laura. And there's a gap yeah. in the market. Let's have a look at what the next card is. It is an acid attack. Acid attack for six energy cubes. You can deal one extra damage every turn. It's an acid attack. There you go. Um, so everything in the market is quite expensive now. Uh, and uh, Louise, it is your turn. You have three energy cubes. You have two health and seven points. And an extra head. <laughs> It's a heart, a heart, a claw, a lightning, a two and two threes. Hmm. Yeah, keep the hearts. Yeah, keep the hearts, the claw, the lightning, and roll the numbers. Please. That was a good buy, that card, wasn't it, with the extra dice? Yeah. I am really enjoying it. I won't lie to you, Dan. Yeah. It's another claw. I'm going to keep my claw. Yeah. Roll my numbers, please. It's another claw. I'm regretting my tone with you, Carl, from a moment ago. <laughs> <laughs> Do you know, genuinely, I was, um, I forgot I'd started that government skills assessment test. <laughs> 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 I was distracted. I was looking at that. I'd started it earlier and I thought I'd just have a little look at it, you know. And, uh, How, how's that going? Right. Um, I'm not. I'm only, I'm only twenty percent into it. All right. Well, so let, let us know. Longer than I thought. I don't. Think, to be honest, I'm probably going to bail out early, which doesn't uh, bode well for the results. <laughs> if it comes back with you should be a monster in Tokyo, tell it you've already tried that. <laughs> you, should be, <laughs> you should be dead. Is what I should say. <laughs> um, so, uh, Louise, you're going to get two health. You go up to four health. You get an energy cube, which means you're on four energy cubes and you punch dan three times he goes down to two energy cubes uh sorry down to two health dan do you yield i do yield instantly all right there we go this is might be how the hey, game's did you going give me my, did you give me my two points for being in tokyo in the first place i gave you your one point for going into tokyo which is what you get uh, oh, i've not uh, held it have i no no so louise gets a point for going into tokyo which means she's on eight one point behind laura and dan who are in joint first place laura it is your go one energy cube, four health, nine points. Here come the dice. 
uh, two energy cubes, a claw, two twos and a one. Oh, oh, that's mucky, isn't it? Um, can I keep the one, the two, the energy and the claw, please? I see what you're doing here. Oh. Here comes com complete destruction. Potentially, she needs a three and a heart. Here comes the dice. I'm going to let the camera catch up to what's just happened. Yeah, don't say it. Yeah, don't verbalise it. You need the thrill. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 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 so close. <laughs> Uh, can you re-roll that energy cube, please? Oh my God. Everything. I need a heart. Mm. Oh! Don't do God. this now. Anyone who had a heart, what will it be? Here it comes. It's an energy. Oh, cube. Yeah. So you go to three energy cubes, and you punch Louise once. She goes down to three health. Louise, do you yield? What's Laura's health? Four. Mm. Yeah, I'm going to yield. Okay, oh, Louise yields. Punch you. <laughs> <laughs> Laura I'm goes to. Die. Laura goes to ten points. Dan Evans has two energy cubes, two health, and nine points. Currently in second place. You have rolled two threes, a two, a heart, a lightning, and a one. Yeah, just keep those. Um, well, this is it. You see, if I go for total war, I can't. I haven't got a claw at all, have I? Actually, um, I'll tell you what. Just re-roll all the numbers. No, no. Actually, re-roll everything but the heart. Yeah. I can't save up enough of those cards at the moment. Okay, you've rolled two more hearts. A claw, an energy cube, and a number two. You have. Two. I don't care what the camera's saying. <laughs> You've rolled a number two, Dan. It's funny because it sounds like a poo. <laughs> <laughs> I tell you what. Um, I say roll the energy cube and the two. Ooh. It's uh, three. Yeah! <laughs> oh, so oh, okay, Dan. That's a really good hand, that. Dan's health goes to. <laughs> Dan's health goes to five. Uh, Laura has been hit three times, turning into Natalie and Brugia, uh, and, and goes down to one health. Laura, do you yield? Of course, I yield. I know, <laughs> fool. I'm not Dan going up against a two headed Tokyo. Gorgon with one health. <laughs> Dan goes up to 10 points. What have you, uh, got, Louise? What do you have in terms of uh, your health? Three. I'm at three. Okay. But she also has an extra, an extra head. And you have four energy cubes. Oh, I forgot about the energy cubes. All right. All right. This is what you've rolled. You've Hello. Rolled two more energy cubes. You've rolled a heart, a claw, two threes, and a two. Um, how many? I have four energy cubes, don't I? Uh, if you kept That's these two, you... arguing with the banker. If you <laughs> if you kept these two, you'd have six. So I could buy Sky Joker, which gives me four points. Which one? What was the acid attack again? It uh, means when you on your go, you automatically deal a damage. I should be keeping those. Roll the numbers, please, James. <laughs> Just the numbers. Just the numbers, please. No. It's a one and a two and a three. And whilst that's aesthetically pleasing, it does nothing for me. Roll again, please. The number of times I've heard that. <laughs> it's another claw. It's another heart. All right. That'll do. So you are going to get two more energy cubes, which means you are now on six. Would you like to spend them? I would like to buy the acid attack, please. All right, the acid you attack. Is this single it's... use, or is it every time? Every time Louise has a go. Every time she oh. has a go. Jesus. Uh, um, has it just given you a really dodgy career? Has it given you the career um, of Jesus? Well, apparently, I should be a leisure centre assistant. 
<laughs> oh, God, I'm really not taking this death well. Yeah. <laughs> um, uh, you're going to get two health, which means you're on five, and you hit Dan twice, which means he goes down to three. Dan, do you yield? Oh, I have to yield, really, I think. Okay, he yields. Laura, you go into Tokyo. Uh, which Me? Means you, uh, Louise. Louise. <laughs> Is your you heart go. really in this, James? <laughs> 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 if anything a little too much do you, uh, to do this, do you want me to do this questionnaire for you James while I'm sure at the end of the show yes please don't ask me any of the questions just answer what you think I'd I'm say gonna, I'm just going to guess based on knowing you okay thank you um, alright so we go back Louise, to you've got Louise in don't you yeah get me out yeah. of Tokyo yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm yeah, too poor to be in Tokyo you should I wouldn't buy a plane ride doing well <laughs> Laura, you have uh, one health. Uh, I'm a uh, shaky dragon. <laughs> <laughs> you, got, you got ten points. You've got three energy cubes, and there's another card coming. Oh, it's, come on, uh, hoarder. It's a nuclear power nuclear plant. Nuclear power plant. For six energy cubes, buy yourself a nuclear power plant. What could go wrong? You'll score two points and heal three damage immediately with your nuclear power plant. There you go. It's two points. How much energy do I have now? You have three. Okay. Here come the ducks. Right, you've rolled two energy cubes, a heart, two threes, and a one. I will keep the energy cube, sir. The threes and the one and the heart. I'll re-roll yeah. the one. Okay. It's a one. I'll piss off, James. I'm sorry. <laughs> uh, I would I'll if do I it could. again. All right, here it comes. No, wait, wait, wait. I want to roll. Are you <laughs> sure? I've, I've already done it. <laughs> Is it good? <laughs> oh, oh, no. Ooh. Yeah, all right. I'll keep that then. Fair enough. All right, so um, you heal up to two. You now have 13 points. And you have five energy cubes, which is not enough to buy anything, I'm afraid. Okay. Uh, well. So we move on to Dan. Two energy cubes, three health, uh, ten points. Uh, Louise is in Tokyo. She has five health. Mm. All right. You have rolled a couple of ones, a two, a three, an energy cube, and a heart. Um, I, I'll i keep the heart. Okay. I just don't know whether I'll ever get the chance to buy a card again. I'll never get up to six, will I? I don't know. Not with that attitude. <laughs> 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 um, well, no, it's whether to attack Louise because mm -hmm. I, I, I'll tell you what, roll everything but the heart. Okay. No, 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 no. Are you still there? Oh, God, what? <laughs> Just roll the keep, – keep the energy cube, but roll the four numbers. All right, so you had a heart and an energy cube, right? Yeah, yeah. Right. 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 <laughs> two threes, a two, and a one. Oh, God, that's rubbish, isn't it? Yuck. This, this uh, game has got really repetitive since Carl went. Sorry, guys. I've got, have I got one more roll yet? Yeah. Do all the numbers again. No, 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 no! Still there, still there. Yeah. <laughs> keep, keep the, keep the two threes and roll the one and the yeah. two. Yeah. Well, I've got to work out what's going on. I've got to try and move towards an end game, haven't I? I hope someone does. Here we go. <laughs> it's a heart and a one. Oh, oh, that's you, a shame. you heal okay, up to well, five. Got... You've got three energy yeah. cubes. Okay. Nothing was achieved. We go no. to Louise, who gets two points for being in Tokyo at the start of her turn. Goes to eleven. <gasps> She has an extra head. She has no energy cubes. Uh, she has five health. She has an acid attack. Does that right. mean they all lose something? Yes. Yes, they will do at the end of your turn. Yes. And I've turned my points up to eleven. All right. <laughs> okay, you have rolled. Do you want me to spoil it for you? Uh, you've I'm rolled three two. energy cubes, two ones, Ooh. a two, and a heart. 
Uh, the hearts are, uh, I can't use the hearts, I'm in a Turkey. You know. That's correct. Um, I'll keep my energy cubes and roll everything else, please. A punchy punch, an energy cube, a one and a two. Oh, bloody hell, camera. Just waiting to check that you are telling the truth. <laughs> oh there no, if she punches us, I'm dead, aren't I? Well, she's already got an automatic punch thanks to her acid attack. Oh, so she's yeah. back for dead. Laura is out of the game. Oh no. Um, can I re-roll one of the energy cubes and the two numbers, please? Yeah, sure. Well, somebody just failed feminism. <laughs> 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 It's a punch, it's a heart, it's a three. So uh, Louise's health goes from five. No, Louise's health doesn't do anything. She's in Tokyo. It stays at five. Mm -hmm. You pick up three energy cubes, which you can't spend because nothing that's, there's nothing that cheap knocking around. There would have been if we hadn't got rid of the energy hoarder. <laughs> that's what I was thinking. I'm just keeping it warm down here if anyone wants it. <laughs> You punch Dan and Laura three times each, which means Dan's health goes down to two, and Laura is also dead. Yeah. Hell. Um, I think it's that card you bought. It was a big investment, but it's really worked out, isn't it? Well, I just got a point every time I bought. A, oh, yeah, that double header is massive. That's that's the dream. Yeah, that's the one you want, which I um, um, you want which the, Laura, the website, Laura, is nationalcareers.com. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I'm going to get on that. Let's have a look. National careers. Um, I also got told I should be a horse groom. <laughs> <laughs> what, like marry a horse? <laughs> <laughs> that was in hobbies and interests. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So, uh, not wanting anyone to feel left out. R.I.P. Laura's monster. <laughs> uh, which was uh, Mecha Dragon, Baldy. Uh, oh, Baldy's got some There's some career advice coming in. I'm sorry, I haven't been keeping up with it. Um, well, this is, I think having a tash is step one towards leisure syndrome. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> That's what I need. Seasons, uh, uh, and viewers, do come to pitch in with your career's advice. That's what I want uh, right now. Tokyo-based yeah, monstrous building destruction operative, says Matt. Hey, Matt. Uh, oh, regular viewer, Matt Mark. Uh, um, thank okay. you. Okay. All right, so it's just Dan and Louise left. Dan, you have two health, ten points, three energy cubes. Let's see if you can roll something good here. Two threes, two punchy punches, how, two how lightnings. Many, what's, what's Louise's health like? Five. Five. Oh, in that case, keep the two claws. And yeah. uh, roll the other four. All right, here we go. I feel like really serious, Dan, because you put your glasses at the end of your nose. <laughs> Keep the heart, roll the other three. All right. Three claws ends the game. <laughs> the game is carrying on. <laughs> I'm crying out there. It's a never uh, ending game. I know. It's a dragon a little bit, isn't it? Um, it's Mecha Dragon. <laughs> A little bit. Uh, four energy cubes for Dan. Two health for Dan. He punches Louise twice. She goes down to three. Do you yield, Louise? No. All right. She's staying in Tokyo, which means she gets two points. She goes up to 13 points, putting her in the lead. She's got an extra head and an acid attack. Dan is on four health. Let's do this. You've rolled two threes, a two, two ones, an energy cube, and a heart. It's a pretty crap roll, to be honest. Yeah, that's not banging, is it? Um, no. <laughs> no. <laughs> um, I am going to oh, – sorry, how many energy cubes do I have? You have three. Um, right, I'm going to keep my two threes, and I'm going to re-roll everything else. <laughs> All right. You've rolled two claws, another three, a heart, which you can't use in a one. Brilliant. I'm going to uh, roll the heart and the one, please. Okay. Just so you know, because Louise has an acid attack, if she rolls another claw now, she has won the game. She hasn't. Oh. Oh. 
it's an energy cube though so she goes to four she gets another uh, she gets four points meaning she's on 17 oh, and she my God. punches down twice he goes down to two health and dan it is your turn you have four energy cubes two health and 10 points louise louise's health louise's has three health Ooh. okay let's go for it <laughs> Three claws wins the game, Dan Evans. You've rolled a load of threes. Uh, a claw. There's no, uh, to keep Come the on. claw and roll everything else. There's no point in me trying to win on points. All right, here we go. Number two. You have rolled. Oh, rubbish. Oh. Okay, it doesn't matter. Keep the, keep the claw and roll the other four. Five. Here it comes. Oh. oh. Oh, you go to five energy cubes you go to four health you punch Louise once she goes down to two health Louise do you yield no okay Louise does not yield which means Louise goes 19 Louise, yes Louise is on 19 points for being in oh. her turn she has an extra head and acid attack she has two health four energy cubes Dan has four health She's rolled three. She's rolled enough to kill Dan. She just has to say, that's it. I'll, I'll keep that. And she's won the game. What do okay. you want to do? You're going to keep it. <laughs> Which means that Dan, with the acid attack and the three claws, is dead. Uh, well and the Kraken done. is dead. <laughs> and the King of Tokyo is Gigazawa. Played by Louise Atkinson. Carl, it suggested I become a paramedic or a beautician. <laughs> I would say a paramedic. What's the name of the if website you... again? Huh? National Career. What is it? Yeah. Could you National combine career? this? <laughs> Just turning up to emergency fix people's makeup. Yeah. Yeah. Like an ice cream van, but for, for eyeliner. Yeah, but instead of their like, green sleeves, you'd play, like, I don't know, something quite camp. <laughs> Well, there you go, guys. That was King of Tokyo. I mean, that was a lot of fun, actually. It was a lot it more fun than I thought it was going to be. Game. <laughs> Thanks, Dan, for your backhanded compliment. <laughs> yes, it was. It was a bit. <laughs> well, to your credit, James, you're actually very good at explaining things better than that video you sent me. Oh, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> the video was not of me, so that's fine. Uh, Matt says, well done, Louise. Uh, thank, thank you, Matt. Matt. Um, so that's that's the end of uh, of the show, Louise. You're the winner of today's board game SmackDown. The prize for winning board game SmackDown is you get to do the bucket speech. So uh, here's the information on the screen, and uh, <laughs> off you go. Please give us some money. Our industry is dying. Thank you. <laughs> oh God, it was a little bit. That was a little bit bleak, but fine. fine. Yeah. fine. We'll, we'll, we'll go with that. Yeah, if you go to paypal.me slash boardgamesmackdown, uh, donate the price of a pint. You guys have been such uh, wonderful uh, entertainment. It would be great to be able to uh, give them a bit of uh, money to say thank you. So everything you donate gets split between the acts. Uh, we also have uh, a... Hold off, the, hold off the horse groom in for another few weeks. <laughs> <laughs> I think you'll still get some practice in. That won't do any harm. <laughs> We also have a Patreon if you want to get some merch. We've got badges. We've got uh, mugs. We've got T-shirts. We've got all kinds of stuff uh, from as little as uh, $1.20 a month, which is about a quid. Uh, Patreon.com slash BoardGameSmackdown if you'd like to support the show. Uh, next week, uh, we're playing a game called Dead Last, uh, which is going to have uh, more players on screen than we've ever had in a game of Board Game Smackdown before. So that will be utter chaos. Uh, guys, before we go, do you have anything you would like to plug? Okay, Laura. Um, please buy my book. I wrote a book. It's here. Please buy it. I sent a copy to Jurgen Klopp this week. So follow me on Twitter to find out how that goes. Thank you, Laura. Anyone else? I was going to no. plug my book, but I think I've let the website 
address laps. So there's no <laughs> point. <laughs> <laughs> I usually set it after gigs, you uh, see, but obviously that's a fucking way. <laughs> Sorry, I wasn't <laughs> uh, Sorry Carl, about that. I did the thing. Um, I do a podcast called Two Vegan Idiots with a comedian called Julian Dean, and it's just us chatting every week with guests, and it's fun, and sometimes it gets a bit um, rude. All right, thank you, thank you, Carl. And Louise, do you have anything to plug? Um, I will actually uh, plug Laura's book because I've read it and it's very, very good, and I recommend Aww. it. Everybody should. Say. What a magnanimous winner we have today on Board Games Back Down. That's <laughs> uh, so that's our show. Thank you very much for watching, everyone. Um, I hope you've enjoyed it. We'll be back next Wednesday with more. Or if you're watching in the future, just click on the next video. It's already there. Uh, and uh, my name is uh, James. I like games. And now hopefully you do too. Goodbye. <laughs>